save big money, save big money when you shop Menards. Right wing conservative from Wisconsin wouldn't build more business when Obama was in. Save big money, save big money when you shop Menards. He's real hard to work with, kind of vindictive, overall a bit of an ass. Made a lot of money, his kid drives for NASCAR, um, his doors are actually above average. <laughs> <laughs> they are, I mean I would say Menards are above average for hardware stores. If yes. You, if you gave me the choice of Menards, Home Depot, or... Um, <clears throat> Or Lowe's, it would go basically Menards and Lowe's, and then you know I'd prefer Habitat for Humanity for actually first because it shits cheaper and it's reused, so it's better for the environment. Then I guess you could say Ace or Harbor Freight; those are kind of cool places. But uh, Menards is fairly accessible, and it's just like this toy. It's like a toy place basically. Like it's, I mean, it's like a big man toy place, and you get groceries and cool shit and tools and. You know, if you can dream it, you can get it, man. And they have this ultra-complex monolith of a rebate system. Well, it's like a Soviet one. For this guy being like a fucking free-market capitalist guy, he's like, you take the rebate, there you enter it in, here you mail it back in, praise to God, don't lose it. You know. You fill in the boxes, <laughs> you look at the clocks, you waste lots of time filling this out. We count on the fact that you are too lazy to all, do all this too. Jump through the hoops and check all the boxes. This is worse than the D. MV 50 cents for a stamp, not free. <laughs> United forever to fuck you over. Yeah, because their rebate system is a pain in the ass. You have to go online, or I think maybe you can get it in the store, but I, I think it's mostly online, isn't it? I think like, in the store. Somehow my mother got $300 worth of rebates. And you have to get the rebate form with the right four digit number. Like 5307 or whatever. Like, we make it sound worse to the DMV. Now serving ticket number 539 in aisle B. Oh, hey, Johnny, yeah, we saw you. You, you spent like 200 bucks with us here. You got the rebates. Uh, but see, you're on form T1936, and it's yeah. T1936A. You really need to go back there, and you got to fill out these 27 forms here. And I'm going to have to invalidate these, but you're going to have to sign and acknowledge the invalidation form here. I'm going to have to get my manager here involved. We're going to have to put in our fucking superpower keys and our yeah. Captain Planet keys here. And I mean, like, trying the fucking check out of there. I mean, the store itself's cool, but honestly, like, going in the checkout line, I'm glad they don't sell guns or you'd want to blow your fucking brains out. I don't like any checkout aisle where the person checking you out is in the same, on the same side of the counter as you. Well, yeah, you got to bag your own shit. Yeah, it's like... I, I, I'm only comfortable when they're on the other side of the counter. Yeah. And when there's somebody offering to bag your, your shit. Yeah, it's 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 weird when they're <clears> on your <throat> side because it's you feel like you're getting in their way. Yeah. It's like you have to walk past them. And if it's somebody who's really obese and they have a big <laughs> they have like a big ass or something, you have to slide past that ass. Yeah, or else it's like sexual harassment. Yeah, and you're gonna get me too. Yeah. But um yeah, the rebate system, yeah, it's bureaucratic. You got to get the right form, either download it online and then print it. A lot of people don't have printers. I don't have a printer, so you have to send it to your mom and have them print it, or or to the your local print it at your local library. So that costs money, and then you have to spend money on a stamp. You've got to fill out that form. You've got to keep the the bottom part of that receipt. So like if you accidentally throw that away, it's game over right there. <laughs> You know, they make you jump through so many hoops, and I really think that they do basically just count on the fact that most people aren't going to do it, because most people value their time more than that. Yeah. So you're never going to get that 11% off. And then even when you do get the 11% off, even if it's not lost in the mail from here to Wisconsin, even if the 
you know, the when the stars fucked it a wine and it worked out. The for stars you. line up, the planets line up, you know, the <clears throat> the mail carriers in Wisconsin get the 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 eleven percent off uh, voucher back to you. Even then, it's store credit, and it starts the cycle all over again, where you buy something else, and you have to fill out another rebate form, and it's a vicious cycle. Where you're just, you always got this rebate form you got to fill out, and you'll never be free. It's like it's Soviet Disneyland for man, for men. I recently bought an axe there from there, and I returned that axe specifically because I was pissed off about the rebate system. Oh, wow. Like, I returned it, and I bought an, I bought an axe from Walmart. Which wow. I'm, I'm not a fan of Walmart, but the axe was $10 cheaper, same quality, and there was no rebate system to have to deal with. So, just simpler, straightforward. I'm okay with paying a little bit more, not a lot more. Actually, and in this case, I paid less anyway. Uh -huh. like, it was less, even with the rebate, it, would, it was still less. I mean, and yeah, it was Walmart. But it's like... Is it the same brand? Not the same brand, but it's it's the same same basic quality. Fiberglass handle, rubberized coating over it. Uh, and in, in fact, it does have it has something that the other one didn't have, which was the uh, black coating over the blade. That's nice because that kind of protects it from corrosion and stuff. Cool. So, and it's kind of cooler looking. It's like black and red instead of yellow and black. So, what time are we at now? We're at uh, six thirty-nine. Yeah, I figure we got to open it before ten minutes. Or it's like they just bitched about the rebate system and their axes for twenty-five minutes. And yeah, up, oh, ran out of battery. I probably had a, a handful of people unsubscribe already. Like <laughs> fake <laughs> news, fake news. He, he said this was an unboxing video. He just couple, rambled about their rebate system. A couple of loudmouth assholes <laughs> ranting about the Menards, his Midwestern uh, version of Home Depot. With a with a re rebate system, they're complaining but about it like a couple of middle aged the, men. The rebate system's defective by design. They want to fuck you. It is, yeah. You know, they might as well just say, "Bend over, we're gonna just fuck you at the rebate counter here." We got a big strap on. <laughs> <laughs> but that, yeah, I will say that their returns, like when you co go in there to return something. My experience was very quick. It was like the most straightforward return I ever got. Wow. Yeah, I just showed up with the receipt. I said, I'd like to return this axe. It took like less than a minute to get my money back. Well, it's made in China. So we got proud American, cheap, shitty. No, I'm joking. It's made in China. It was nope. like two bucks. There's a big eagle on the side. I don't know if you can see the eagle there. Yeah, Chinese eagle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I like the turn radius on that. Yeah, I got a good turn radius. It's like a real truck. It's like a real semi where it like where it makes those wide the left jack turns. Knife. Yeah, yeah, it makes like those wide left turns that could take out a whole like uh, fleet of SUVs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In the back, there's a fork. Oh! Oh, wow. Nice. We can store shit in there. Realism. Yeah. So. Yeah, does the hood open? I doubt it. I'm damn lucky that the... Okay, so that's where the realism ends. But that was cool. I really wasn't expecting the back to open up. Yeah. Yeah, they make some, like, die-cast metal ones where... I, I had some as a kid where... They make it about as realistic as they can without putting a real engine in there. Yeah. But, like, you can open up the hood, you can open up the trunk, you can open up the doors. This isn't quite that detailed, but it's still pretty cool. It's like two bucks or whatever it was. It's the kind of thing a kid would like to get for Christmas and then play with it for about five minutes and then get bored. Break it and then cry. <laughs> It's like, I don't want Christmas to be over. Yeah. Oh, I got with your skinny truck. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so I just thought I'd get the true spirit of Christmas there. Yeah. Uh, the materialism and the greed and the bullshit. Yeah. Plot twist. This is actually Optimus Prime. All right, let's transform. No, it's not Optimus Prime. Yeah. That would be cool, though. That would be super cool if... Uh, 
Menards partnered up with, did some kind of tie-in with uh, Transformers. Well, it'd be cool to me if it just transformed into a NASCAR, like a toy NASCAR. No, it, it, trans, it, it transforms into a rebate form. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the seventh layer of hell, you know. <laughs> And then, this is worse than a GoBot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wasn't that Simpsons? No, no I was just thinking like that would be that would be worse than a GoBot yeah. that trans, transformed into a rebate form. <laughs> rebate or no? I was thinking we open it up and all of a sudden rebate form just shoot out of there. Yeah, like they're like, what happened? All the fucking rebate forms shot out. It took both these guys out. It like slit their throats with the paper. Yeah, they had like five five thousand rebate form. <laughs> that <laughs> yeah boy it's a good thing you've got a really fleecy carpet oh yeah that's where a lot of that rebate money came from oh yeah, yeah this is this is menards it's carpet like three thousand dollars worth of menards carpet yeah get a look folks beautiful beautiful carpet yeah soak yeah. this in yeah it doesn't get much nicer than this just savor every moment of it yeah beautiful beautiful it, it's it, got like a three hundred dollar rebate out of that. Like oh, the, beautiful for spacious skies, for amber waves of grain. It actually kind of does look like an aerial view of like a grain field, like a wheat cool. field in Kansas. Wow. From sweatshops, these uh, fabrics were sold. Four pennies on the dollar. America, America, the land of excess shit. America, America. You have any other words to say to that? You're going to regret it. <laughs> Something like, yeah. you know, the semi truck. Um, it's kind of a commentary, if you really force it. It's really a commentary on uh, on uh, how we transport goods in the United States and the the um, the uh, phasing out of our uh, railroad system. Now, I would say they still use the railroads, but it's a much more limited not, capacity. Not yeah, not nearly as much as they should. It's yeah. become more about like uh, semi trucks. Trains would be a lot more efficient. I, I'm, well, I'm a big proponent in bringing the railroads back. You know why they want the fucking semi-trucks and all that shit there? Because these guys, this ain't a Teamster driver. You know, sure as shit, they're not going to be having a union guy running it. Um, but the other thing I was going to say is because everybody there is in this just-in-time bullshit where they're like, oh, it's just-in-time inventory, it's just-in-time management. And most of these corporate cocksucking morons can't get their heads out of their asses long enough to know you know, what just in time is. They're like, well, I came up with these metrics and we're using Taylorism and we got these numbers here and we're going to get you. And then there's their delusional version of reality and then there's what reality is and then they set themselves up to fail. You know. Yeah. Not to get on my soapbox. But hey, I got a I good would, deal to soapbox with a rebate at Menards. Yeah. Yeah, I would definitely prefer an interstate system that without like endless, like infinite number of semis everywhere. Yeah. Cause like they're just everywhere, and like you don't want to go seven, you, you don't want to go eighty miles per hour, so they're just constantly passing you. And every time you, every time one of them passes you, you think you're gonna die, you think you're gonna get Tracy Morgan. <laughs> you remember what happened to him? I thought he's still alive, ain't he? He is still alive, but he got yeah, they got hit by a truck. Oh, I didn't know. Him and a bunch of his buddies were in like their van or something, like their their pimped out van cool and they got hit by a sleep deprived truck driver well wasn't that one of the reasons why they have all them rules now about trucks and hours and shit yeah yeah that that kind of kind of made big news well you're you know like in iowa they got a thing called hayden's law have i ever done my bus stop lawyer song for you no okay so there's that song that goes rock star hero da 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 and so I've had some extended family have legal troubles with school buses and stop signs and stuff. And it was basically an extortion racket between the school district and the, and the lawyers. It's pretty crazy. 
But I came up with this whole song for like these middle-aged kind of unemployed lawyers that were in on that thing. They could call them Bus Stop Lawyers. Da, 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 da. And in the background, there's like a school bus with the red lights and blinking and stuff. And, yeah. Yeah. Like a music video. Yeah, yeah. About the, the balding, fat, middle-aged lawyers. Another thing we could talk about is um, how a lot of these semis ship goods straight out of Mexico. Wow. You know, it's not just people crossing the border. It's also foreign goods because of NAFTA. NAFTA. Mm-hmm. Taking away American jobs. We can thank Bill Clinton for that one. Yeah. The North American Free Trade Agreement. Something that both conservatives and and uh, liberals uh, malign because it was a pretty neo liberal shitty decision. Yeah, it was like basically globalism taking hold, and America has got to watch out for that. We, you know, we've got to start. We do need to realize that we live in a global world, but we also need to take steps to be self-sufficient. Because if we don't do that, pretty soon our asses are going to be Feliz Navidad. <laughs> Comprendo? Yeah. yeah, that was, that. I have to give the Deviant Historian credit for that one. Because yeah. in, a, in a video that we're not going to publish, we were just doing some improv type stuff, and he, he, one of those brilliant improv lines, they can only come when you're not really thinking about it. He yeah, said something. Busy your, eating potatoes. Your ass is going to be Feliz Navidad. And, <laughs> and I mean, that's, that's you know, he was thinking about, it's obvious what he was trying to say, but he ended up saying that, you know, he's trying to say something along the lines of, you know. You're going to be killed or that Yeah, hasta la vista, that kind of thing, mm -hmm. you know. He said Feliz Navidad. Your ass is going to be Feliz Navidad. Yep. Comprendo. So watch out, America. Yeah, it'd be a great Southern sheriff. Yeah. <laughs> so, adios, Red Rock. That's actually, that's a reference that very few people will get. That, But it reminded me, when you said the, the Felice Navidad thing, it reminded me of that, uh, this movie called Red Rock, and that's, that's a line from that movie. Watch that movie if you haven't seen it. But uh, anyway... Do we have anything else to go on with this? What time are we at? We're at 1723. Wow. We should probably plug the Ray Zamata video. The video we made about... Yeah, you the, should put a link to it, too. The Menards Pitch Man. I think that was more of a positive Menards one. because, I mean, yeah, to me, getting into Menards is kind of magical and interesting. But then fat people can't get in because they have that damn round thing. Like, <laughs> they treat everybody like they're criminals. like they're like they're Or like they're cattle. They're cattle and criminals. They're a combination of that. They're like they're full, like they're yeah, like they're cows that committed a felony. Oh, oh, oh. Well, yeah, we know you sons of bitches are gonna try to steal some screws. You got twenty eight cents of screws there, and this is this is Menards land. We'll lynch you for that. Yeah, around here, and then like you go to the checkout line, you see like three teenagers fucking lynched and stuff. They're like, yeah, it's, it's they they have their own sovereignty here. It's a their mall cops a different type of mall cop. A disproportionately, yeah, a disproportionately high number of my videos have been about Menards, either directly or indirectly. Wow. Because, like, there was the Ray Zamata one. There's this one. There's that weird series that I did for Christmas with the... Oh, yeah, yeah, the fucking trippy wife. Enchanted Forest. So, yeah, yeah I'm, Menards is becoming one of my bigger topics on my channel. Well, you know, that, that could be a whole niche market. Yeah. You got, like, middle-aged guys that jerk off to Menards. They play with their Menards all the time, and, you know. Yeah. Just, like, saving big money. Da, da, da. They're probably loving the rebates. They're like, oh, God. If I only stay they, up at night doing all this paperwork. If only they sold, like, Quonset Huts, and I could get an 11% rebate on that. You probably do, if you look. Like, 11% of 10 grand, that'd be quite a bit. Yeah. That would be a uh, 1000 Yeah. That would be about eleven hundred and eleven dollars. Yeah, but you could pro they could probably. I mean, I, I bet you they'd sell it. They got kits of shit. They probably could sell you a Quonset hut, and maybe be more reputable than that East Coast scumbag. Well, I checked, and they don't. Uh, they do. They do the the sheds and stuff like that. They do that. garages. They, they do, do like garages garage. and sheds. Is, yeah, but they don't. Unfortunately, they don't deal in Quonset huts. Quonset huts are kind of a niche market. They're kind of a kind of a cottage industry. Well, they're not really a cottage. They're more of a tin can. <laughs> Good one. Yep. Yeah. But I'm... 
There you go. They're not a cottage. It's not really a cottage. Yeah, well, yeah. It's like you see it. in an aluminum can. It's like, you know, when you visualize it, it's like kind of a niche cottage. You just Pop feel the like. top. <laughs> yeah. So, well, so. hopefully this is a long, prosperous Menards video and this you build you get another couple hundred subscribers just off my Menards commentary. <laughs>